Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. Today I would like to take a break from music theory lessons on my YouTube channel and recommend some music learning aids that can motivate students to learn music. In the past, I made a video to introduce all kinds of learning aids that helps to motivate students such as this week I discovered something fun also like a drawing board like this then you can use a liquid paper to draw the lines and then you can start practicing writing the notes uh, on the board okay, like F A C E by tracing this is C they know this is a C then this is A okay so the thing is after practicing with just one click you can erase everything and then you can do it over and over again um, rather than just uh, black and white on a book or exercises on manuscript paper and if you're interested for more learning aids in learning notes you can go back to that video and watch it again but today I would like to do something else as you know recently ABRSM is going to roll out the traditional piano exam again uh, it has three pieces uh, also scales to be tested sight reading and oral test in the exam some of the students uh, may think that this uh, traditional piano exam offer better quality certificates and more comprehensive music education because it consists of uh, listening skills and sight reading skills to me there's no right wrong or which one is better it's all up to your own choice it's really up to you so as a teacher i find that our job is to tailor meet our lessons to suit all the students need it depends on what they want and our job is just to help them to fulfill their dreams and pass the exam also score well for the exam so for today's lesson i would like to introduce a learning aid for students who don't like to practice scale or have difficulties to memorize the scale okay, and the fingering Okay, so this set of uh, learning aid can be used for grade 1 to 8. Uh, okay. It helps to improve your finger work as well. Okay, so this is how to use it. I'm going to uh, introduce it on the piano later. So this set of scales can be used for grade 1 to 8, not only major or minor key. It also consists of minor harmonic scales and minor melodic form. It can be used for similar motion, okay, two hands together. And contrary motion, like two hands go separate way, uh, third apart, six apart scales. If you follow my method closely, okay, like uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you on the piano, you should be able to score well for your exam, and it also make your learning more fun. And this set of templates is called scales templates. Uh, it costs thirty two dollars for one whole set that you can use all the way up to grade eight. It really worth it because it can be used all the way until grade eight from grade one to eight. And the thirty two dollars consists of a free postage service uh, with, by registered mail, Singpost registered mail. Um, so if you are interested, please drop me an email on this email address, okay? And send me your address in the email. Then the payment can be made by PayNow. Payla or PayPal and as well or you can come over to pick up the templates which is uh, you can also pay by cash another thing to take note is this template is made in the year of 2011 okay uh, in year 2011 and I'm going to show you how to do this um, the patent is still pending so make sure you buy the original one as I know that someone has duplicated it and sell it uh, so when you buy this picture uh, you get the original one and you get the right one because you must make sure you can fit the size of this template to your keyboard and all these templates is measured to fit to all kind of uh, keyboard and piano okay. it's, it's something like this so I will give you a very uh, detailed demonstration uh, on the keyboard later so without further ado, let's start the lesson now. Thank you for watching. If you find my video tutorial useful, please continue to subscribe, hit like, and if you have any question, you can uh, write it in the comment box. Okay, so I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now let's start with the first number. 
Okay, first scale, this number one is for C major. Okay, for C major, G major, D, A, and E major. Okay, so look at the C major first. Put the first number on C. So practice is one finger. If I you want to use G major, I want to learn G major, put the first number on G. Okay, so G is here. Any G. So from this, it's only on G. Another octave G A B C D E. Okay, to memorize your fingering by looking at the grouping. Grouping of three, grouping of four. So it is D major. Let's say you want to learn a D major. Okay, so put the first number on D. So D. This is holding on black key. able to practice with just one finger you can use for the fingering the upper number is for uh, right hand one two three after three you turn to one which is your thumb two three four is on the black keys this is on the black keys one two after that one is on the white key again so for D major, this is the first group. Okay, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. Okay, D, E, F sharp. Okay, after that, you can uh, practice left hand. Okay, separate hand. So, this is black key. This is pointing on the black key. So, three, two, one. After one, turn to three. Black key. Okay, so for both hands, after you can pair, uh, play hands separately uh, very well, you can start to coordinate both hands. Okay, so right hand follow the upper line, left hand follow the lower line. For major key, I will introduce a minor key later. Okay, now let's let's look at the country motion. How about country motion? For country motion, you can start with this middle D. The right hand go to the okay. So left hand go to the left side. Okay, and go down. first octave you definitely can do the rest okay, and then after that you can look at the third part third part right hand start with three f sharp left hand start with b okay so right hand f sharp g Fingering. 
right hand will start with D, finger number one. Then left hand start with three. For minor key, you just need to turn this, this turn around, then you get a harmonic minor. But this can be used for A minor, E minor, D minor, G minor, and C minor. Okay, let's look at uh, A minor first. Uh, as usual, you start with one finger, uh, um, start with one hand first, right hand, which is A. is on the black key Three motion. One is a stool. And three is here. Three is here. Then right hand, this is on the black key. Four. And black key. Oh, sorry. G sharp. Sorry, I played it wrong. Okay. So it is uh, E minor. The same thing. You can even introduce a metronome. One and two and three and four and two and three and four. Okay, and then left hand. Conveniently, okay. So this is a uh, harmonic minor. Let's look at melodic minor. For melodic minor, we have uh, number three template number three, A minor, E minor, D, G, and C minor. Melodic is more um, complicated, so you will see some arrow. When going up, you raise this note. Okay, so the right arrow is going up so when going down you see the arrow here pointing to the left so in descending these are the notes that need to be changed okay so let's look at the a minor a minor melodic form first so a minor is here one two three one two so going up you look at the upper one So going down, look at the lower numbers here. Going to the left side. So left hand. So 
also can be used like this. Sixth apart, uh, you can experiment with uh, these templates with all kinds of uh, scales and possibilities. So don't forget to uh, drop me an email and then I will send it to your address. Thank you very much for watching. See you in next lesson. Goodbye.